according to the CDC, it appears that one out of 10 or one out of eight people in the USA die from the antibiotics that they take. And in the news sphere, many individuals are claiming that, or different doctor groups or whatever group is looking at, or Forbes is reporting that many people should be talking more with their doctors about not taking things like zithromycin. There's a lot of talk in the news sphere about antibiotic misuse. For example, misuse has increased the number of drug-resistant germs. And so these people who are dying, the conclusion from the CDC is that these people who died are not dying from the antibiotics, they are dying from the bacterial infection. Because all of these superbugs and these bacteria, they're all becoming immune and stronger. Now I can see why they've drawn to that conclusion. And I know that when I was taking the advanced placement biology in high school, I know that there were descriptions. Uh, kids are indoctrinated to believe this. So we all have access to the same data. However, I'm having a hard time finding more data from the CDC on their claims anyone finds good data for that I'd love to see it because we all have access to the same data however the conclusions seem to be different some conclusions are that these bacteria and these germs are now becoming drug resistant and that it's the germs and the bacteria that are harming and killing people well many forward health thinkers that are here they're claiming a different conclusion, a conclusion that my observations go very greatly with, and as well my philosophy, historical study as well, and observational science. These germs and bacteria are not harming or killing anybody. They are cleaning up the mess. These viruses, they're a result of protein strands. So. These bacteria are cleaning up a lot of the dead pus and dead flesh that we ingest, and that's in our system. Of course they're going to be there. Of course there's going to be an imbalance. Now what are these antibiotics doing? They're creating even more of an of a imbalance. And it's killing anywhere from one to every 8,000 antibiotic users. So one in 8,000 is a large number. The CDC says it's over 20,000 people killed every year. These are high numbers. And so why are people taking antibiotics in the first place if really there is no proof that these antibiotics are solving their problem? Sure, the antibiotics bring different bacteria strands down or they're um, or they are observed less but this is all coming from the judgment and the total dogma dogma in medical science today which is stating that these bacteria are bad 500 years ago it wasn't the bacteria that were bad 500 years ago it was the demons inside of you it was these spiritual attacks and likewise, 500 years ago, slugs were used to suck out people's blood or draw the bad stuff from people's blood. That practice is looked down upon today. So today, it's different. Instead of there being evil demons inside of people, now there's evil, evil germs inside of people, and there's evil bacteria. When in fact, these bacteria have always lived inside of our body, our body is around 10% human cells, perhaps less, perhaps more. I don't know, I just follow the research from other individuals and the observations. So you have 90% different bacteria colonies that are working in harmony with your body. 
better to keep them balanced. So is it worth it to take these antibiotics, throw yourself at a further imbalance, risk death, or is it better to let them do their job? There needs to be more data that we have access to to really come up with better conclusions for this. However, one thing for sure is that mm, one thing for sure is that we really don't know what is going on inside of the body. We haven't shrunk ourselves down to observe this. However, if we forget about the dogmas that we've been taught, if we forget about if we forget about what we've been programmed to know or programmed to respond to or programmed to purchase antibiotics, if we forget about all this stuff and we just observe, we use our intelligence and we gain our own understanding, our own experience, we may find that we do not agree with this dogma that was introduced over a hundred years ago. We may find that we don't agree with this dogma that was introduced over 80 years ago. Now granted, we all have the same data, but conclusions are different, very different. So are antibiotics good for you? Of course not. We didn't have antibiotics 2,000 years ago, and have antibiotics helped people? very difficult to tell if an antibiotic biotic helps your body. Why? Because there are not two of you. One of you to take the antibiotic and one of you to not take that antibiotic and to observe what happens. So the last time About 13 years ago, I went to a doctor. It was the last time I went to a doctor. 13 years ago. I had a sinus infection. That's the diagnosis. Really, I had too much mucus in my body from the wrong foods. Absolutely. And a doctor, I believe he was, you know, I really don't remember what he prescribed for me, but he prescribed an antibiotic. He didn't tell me anything helpful to do other than take an antibiotic. So I asked him, I said, uh, doctor, what can I do besides take this antibiotic? Or let's say I didn't take the antibiotic. What can I do to feel better? And the doctor was very frank with me. He said, oh, get more rest. Uh, jump into a hot shower. Take more warm showers. Wake up with a cold shower. Take care of yourself. Eat better foods. Just have, I truly believe he said, just eat more, eat some more fruits, an extra apple, apple to, apple a day to keep the doctor away, kind of a thing. Have some soups, he suggested. Use air humidifiers. Breathe in deeply. I wrote down these things that he suggested, and I told this story many times over the year. Because yeah, what I ultimately decided to do was I did not get that prescription filled. I did not take those antibiotics. And I was feeling better in, I think, I don't believe the next day I was 100%, but two days later, I was great. I went back to work, felt just fine. So the thing here is, on day one of me being sick and having these problems, where having this sickness, having this thing that I didn't want because I wanted to feel better. Day one, I did not go to the doctor. Now this part I'm not clear on. I believe it was day three, maybe day four, that I was urged to see a doctor, and I did. And day five or six, 
I felt better. I took no antibiotics. So what made me feel better? Was it not taking the antibiotics that made me feel better? Was it taking antibiotics that made you feel better? I look at it like my cleansing time was done. Okay. If you conclude that this sickness was a cleansing reaction and that my body was just cleaning out old dirt, why? For survival reasons. Cleaning out this old excess stuff. Oh, that looks You can so conclude crazy. that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> People are so happy here. You can conclude that my body was done cleansing, cleansing. My body was done cleansing. That's why I wasn't sick anymore. My body was done with the process. And clearly, the antibiotic was never necessary. Clearly, the fear that people put into my mind saying, oh, you're sick, you should go to a doctor, go to a doctor, I urge you to go to a doctor, Clearly, that, imp that impulse of theirs was fear-based. And I'm, I'm very grateful that they care about me. It's good to have people that care about you. And then you had this doctor who was just bored of writing people all these antibiotics. Clearly, I never needed the antibiotic for an infection. Clearly, my body was finishing this cleansing process. So clearly, there are people who die very quickly from what is said to be and concluded as a bacterial infection. So if you are not dying right now, if you are still alive, whatever bacteria is found, it's not an infection. It's not a problem. Yes, it's an infection by... Yes, it is... It is an infection by definition. But this infection that you see is a good thing. It's part of your healing process. And these antibiotics just add more toxemias to your body, more things for your body to have to deal with later. So check the description of this video. In the description, I'm going to put links there. Links to certain studies that say their conclusion, and next to the link, I will type out my conclusion. So enjoy that, and I hope you stay away from these nasty antibiotics.